Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to another episode of Should I Buy? And this one is all about 4K monitors, a category that I haven't covered that much because let's be honest, 4K monitors have been messy. Um, there've been a lot of monitors out there just, just have not been that good. The really good ones are really expensive. Also, some of them are gaming tied. And if you're looking for an affordable gaming monitor, you're going, hmm, should I actually go 4K? Is it really worth it? Does my graphics card push it? Plus, 2K monitors have been doing really well. Ultra wides are 2K. Uh, we've got a really good section of those there. So, why should I get a 4K monitor and should I buy one? So, that's what we're covering in this video. And the monitor in question that I'll be actually talking about here is the EW3270U from BenQ. So, it's a BenQ 32 inch. 4K monitor, it's just, I'm gonna put it that way. What I like about this monitor and what I like to talk about are some of the really cool features. First of all, it's kind of bland in design, to be honest. It's got a really very simple design and look. Uh, it's all black, it's got a nice simple stand. You can mount it with a Versa mount, so that's actually nice. Uh, but it also is 32 inches, 16 by nine, and it's not ultra wide, but it looks really good, very simple and clear. Now it's got a HDR button on the monitor itself, which I do like because Windows has this really weird issue with HDR so far. Uh, you can turn on HDR on Windows, but also if you're used playing games, there's HDR option in games, and it kind of just has a hard time deciding. So the monitor doing some of that work for you, I think makes sense. Is, is it really worth it or not? But you have to see. Now the menu system is pretty easy to navigate. Uh, once you tap on it, you can also cycle through different options like HDR, Cinema HDR, uh, Brightness, you know, Vivid, all this kind of stuff there. Uh, and it also has AMD FreedSync. What's cool about it is once you hit that button, you can see the changes, you can see the difference. Just looking at that Spider-Man wallpaper, the red becomes more vibrant, you know, uh, getting more of that 10-bit color there. So, which is really nice. Like I mentioned, it does support free sync, but you're getting the refresh rate for this monitor is 60 hertz. It's not built to be a gaming monitor, but that being said, though, you know what I did. I checked out some games on here and actually really won. I was playing Battlefield 5 and it handled it really well. I mean, your system, of course, has to, to match and all that stuff to push 4K and, and have a really decent system. So uh, that did a really good job. It, of course, hit the 60 hertz uh, refresh rate. Uh, things look smooth, things look vibrant. I love the way the game colors came out really punchy. That to me was really important with this monitor here. And I've also been using this to edit. I will say that again, the color representation is really nice. So it comes out well, but just going back to gaming, you can see even in those dark spots where you're playing in a scene where it's at night, it's really dark, those colors come out well. And that's what you want to get from a 4K HDR monitor. And I think this one hits the mark that you probably should buy. If you're thinking of getting a 4K monitor, one is because it actually does what it's supposed to do, handles 4K well, has AMD FreeSync, if you wanna do some gaming on there, um, and the color representation is pretty accurate. Plus the price point is $498. So this is at least sub $500 gaming monitor, I mean monitor, that's 4K HDR, does do some gaming for you. That I think a lot of people will like. To me, that's where this monitor fits in. They've done a good job in blending all that together. That makes sense for a lot of people. So there you have it. If you're looking to buy a 4K HDR monitor, I say go ahead and pick up the BenQ 32 inch 4K monitor. I'll have a link for you guys down below if you are interested in picking it up. And also, if you enjoyed this video, as you guys have been enjoying the Should I Buy series, let me know. Now, I've been, if you're wondering how long I've used this monitor, I've actually used it for about four months. I totally forgot that I hadn't even done anything on it. So I said, hey, I've really enjoyed this monitor. Why don't I do a shoot episode on Should I Buy? So here you have it, guys. Anyway, any questions, any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the notification icon to get notified of our latest videos. It's Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.